Hi there, this is David, and welcome back to Let's Play The Legend of Heroes Trails of the Sky the Third. Last time, Renee joined our party, so there's something that I can kind of show off. First things first, if you look at my party members' levels now, I've kind of evened their levels out just a bit so that I'm able to use some characters that I haven't used at all, like Sherizard and Agate, by raising up other people's levels that I have been using, such as Julia, Mueller, Chloe, Tita, you know, Onlace, all them. I didn't touch... Um, Renee or Richard or anybody else like that. This is pretty much just so I can throw a little variety in my party. Another thing that I want to talk about is support members. Now that we have um, Renee in our party, we have a little bit more um, choice in who we use as our support members. I'm just really quickly going around and showing off everybody's supports. So if you really want to read these all, you know, you can pause it. I just showed them off real quick. But the main ones that you want to look at are Josette, as well as Renee. Josette increases your item drop rates by 20%, Sepeth rate gain by 30%, that's really nice. But Renee does your experience gain by 15% and your Sepeth gain by 20%. So for right now, since I am still trying to get my experience points up as high as possible, I am going to be using Renee. However, there would be some good reasons to use, um, who is it? Josette. Because number one, she gives you more separate than anybody else. So if you're like in need of money, use Josette. Another thing is, if you're looking for item drops, it would be a really good idea to use Josette as well, especially if you're grinding. And if you are grinding and you want to get some drop rates at the same time, fight that guy. Down there. You see him down there floating around by that treasure chest? That's the Arc Demon and he gives you a shit ton of experience, tons of sepith, but more important than that, he uh, ba -ba -da -ba -da, has ridiculous item drops. So let's just look over some of these. We got the ninja garb, the ninja tabi, the shaman sandals, the knight armor, the kitty suit, the knight sabatons, the kitty slippers, all this just amazing equipment. And you want to know how amazing it is? It took me about five battles, but I got it. The kitty suit. It raises your speed by 30 points! That's insane! Like, that's unheard of! 30 points! Like, my god! So if anything else that he drops is anywhere near the power level of the kitty suit, like, it's totally worth it. I'd like to see what those kitty sandals actually have. So every single time that you come across that guy, fight him. Like, bar none, fight him. Don't even, like, think about it. Like, you have to. It, it just is what it is. Oh, the playful minstrel and his closest ally. Huh. Must be talking about Oliver and Mueller. I have a lot of doors that I have to open. I think I have, like, something like four doors that I have to open after this. So, yeah, it's going to take quite some time um, to get all that done. But I'll be doing it after we end this chapter. I'm probably going to be doing, like, chapter doors, chapter doors, chapter doors, that sort of thing. Unfortunately, no drops there. Ooh, a barrel bracelet. Oh, yeah, um, it does ring a bell, but I choose to ignore that right now. Yeah. So the barrel bracelet, that prevents movement down or speed down. It's kind of crappy, if you ask me, so yeah, not going to worry about it. Um, to increase your item drop rates, another good thing to do would be to equip the Fortune Quartz. That increases the item drop rates by 30%, but only on the person who actually creates the killing blow. So give it to somebody really strong like Reese or Kevin, um, and then give them speed boosts so that they're able to go uh, more often. Ooh, that's kind of nice. Oh. Oh, yeah, kind of, sort of, maybe. <laughs> My husband's an idiot. Okay, so let's keep on going on through here, and uh, let's check out that nice sword that we just got uh, for Reese. Let's see. Ooh, not half bad. Hey, I like it. Oh, what do we have here? Ooh, some more gold. Awesome. Oh, um, okay, if you say so. Um, if you're running short on money, one thing that... Uh, whenever you fight those Archdemons, they do drop a lot of the higher Sepeth, like the Space Mirage Time Sepeth. Whoa! Oh, man. And you can sell that for 30 Mira for one Sepeth. It's really nice. So you could sell like a thousand and get 30 thousand gold. So that's a really easy way to get some nice Sepeth there. 
Also, fighting those slime sluggy things back in uh, floor level 2 of the castle basement that I showed you a couple videos back, that'll give you a lot of those drops as well. So that's a pretty good way to get some money as well. So just moving and grooving right along. I think we only have like one more message from that short thing about Hidiko or whatever. I don't know. I'm not really concerned about that story. So make sure that you're all healed up and raring to go. I am. I have my CP at max. That'll come in handy too. And uh, it's always nice to see everybody's S-crafts. Oh, hey! The teleportation's already here. That's kind of nice. Um, yeah. Okay, let's make a mad dash. Let's go. Or not. What are we waiting for? Oh. Oh no, from where? I don't see anything. Oh, where's it gonna come from? Whoa, from above? Yikes! Oh god, spiders. Oh no! This reminds me of something out of uh, Seventh Saga, actually. Hmm. That game actually had some pretty good graphics, I've gotta say, for its time. The Three Gluttonous Arachne Sisters. Ugh. Oh, no! Oh, yeah, no kidding. Okay, let's get dangerous! Let's do it! Okay, so against these guys, my thing... Well, let me just show you what they actually do. This guy can poison you. This one can lower your stats. This one um, calls for aid when it's hurt. And it screams for its mother upon death. That's just lovely. And then this one can cause status changes. So, I don't like any of those things. So what I'm going to do is make sure that they don't get a turn. Yeah. <laughs> Sherizard is a house in this battle. I love her. So let's see. We'll use Hurricane. Get all these guys in there with it. Nice. Yeah, with these all-consuming, all-hitting skills, these guys don't stand a chance. And Agate, he is uh, my true, like, trump card here by using Dragon Dive. Nice! Yeah, got rid of him. See ya! No! Call his allies? What could I possibly do? Huh! Well, I'll tell you what. We're gonna use Heaven's Kiss and give everybody else an extra turn! That's what we're going to do! Yeah. So I wanted to kill that one on the left first to bring Mommy Dearest in on here so we can start, you know, bashing her head in as well. Use another Supreme Hurricane? Oh, it missed! Oh, no! This means he might actually get a turn. That would really suck. That would just... Ooh, that would just ruin my plans right there. Um, hmm. Let's see, when is your attack coming in? Let's have you... Yeah, let's have you move over here and just bash this guy. That's fine. Okay, now what I want you to do is use your Wild Rage, which increases his max CP by 150, but it does lower his, um, his HP by quite a bit. Um... Man, you got a turn. Oh, and he turns you to stone, too? Oh, well, that sucks. Okay, can I, like, get both of you in here? That would just be lovely. You know what? Missing really sucks. Missing just screwed over my entire freaking strategy. Could you, like, not miss this time, Estelle? That would be lovely. That way he wouldn't be, you know, petrified right now. Oh, how terrible. Okay, you know what? Screw your critical bonus. I need to get this guy's Petrified off, and I need it off, like, right now. Uh, let's see. There we go. Softening Ball. That'll work. There you are. Awesome. Oh, this really just screwed over, like, everything. All my plans. That sucks. Oh, that really freaking sucks. But we can get some nice damage there. You know what I could do? Well, let me wait, wait for Reese's turn um, and see how I want to play this. So now I'm going to use Chain 3, and I'm going to include Estelle in the chain, 
And who else can I include in this chain? Let's see about if I can include Agate. No, it wouldn't work because then he can't attack the guy. Oh, hey, we can still attack the guy. So all three of us in the chain. Here we go. Did Estelle miss again? Like, seriously, did she miss again? I know I killed this guy, but like... Seriously, Estelle? You ruin everything! Ugh! No, I still love Estelle. She's great. Look at that experience! Awesome! Ooh, true wheel of time. Wow. Lots of good skills here. Ooh, and a water gem. Awesome. Nice. Yeah, you always get like a level 5 gem after you, um... Destroy that boss there. Oh, yeah. Yeah, she didn't get a turn. Just that one asshole sister who, uh, turned us to stone. That wasn't all that much fun. What do we have here? Oh, yeah. Oh, yeah, so did I, because there aren't any more slots in our party lineup. Oh. Oh. Really? What does it feel like? Oh, I hope not. Let's not unseal it, then. Oh, a divine feel. Really, the goddess herself. And who are you? Oh, no. Well, we haven't seen you in quite some time. Yeah. Oh. It's kind of a shame that you can't go in there and kill him right now. Oh, really? Huh. So I guess that's why he's called the Heretic Hunter. So he just has to kind of declare someone to be a heretic, and then he's able to use his stigma? Maybe that's why it drained so much energy out of him, because he used it on something that wasn't a heretic. I don't know. Oh. Well, that's no good. Finest tea party. Hmm. Who is this guy? Oh, you're giving us a gift? Seriously? A rule book? Um, okay. Well, at least we might find it beneficial. I don't know how that would be beneficial to us, but sure, whatever. Another game board? I didn't like this game board. It really wasn't even a game board, it was just kind of like a, a maze. Actually, I kind of like the fourth level, where we got to go to all sorts of different dungeons and then have, like, an enemy at the end of each dungeon. It took quite some time to get through that fourth level. This level was, like, pretty fast, I've got to say. Oh. Wait, so you're a child, too? Oh, well, we could take him out. No problem at all. Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah, totally, definitely. I wonder who we're going to unlock this time. And the other ceiling stones have like a yellow glow, and this one has like a bluish glow to it. I don't know if that's meaningful in any way, but eh, we'll find out soon enough, I'm sure. Yeah, it's. I think it's prettier, actually. I like it. I don't know. Well, what is it, Chloe? What's going on? Nostalgic? In what way? Oh. Why do you say that? What's going on here? Is it Chloe's grandmother or something? Oh, is this the hermit? Is this the ghost that's been helping us? It does look just like Chloe, though. A little bit longer hair. And... Wait, is this a man? I don't know. I'm wearing pants. And JRPGs, if you know you're wearing pants, you're a man. Seems to be the way it always works. Oh, I don't know. Well, it's good to see you. Own descendants. Oh. Uh huh. Who are you? Oh. 
Wow. Okay. And what does Celestial Sace have in store for us? Find out next time. Let's play the Lent to Heroes Trails in the Sky the Third. This has been David. If you like this, please like, comment, and subscribe. And have a good day.